In the Bible, healing is a major component of what Jesus has told us to do. In fact, right through uh, New and Old Testament. And so sometimes we come across people who don't seem to be healed. And I've learned some tools that will, or some questions to ask that will help in discovering why that's the case without putting condemnation on them. So I've learned to ask certain questions when we come across people who are sick to find out, is there a legal ground for their affliction? Is it a wake-up call for their spiritual walk with the Lord? Uh, could it be that their sickness is the direct result of personal sin? Some people make bad lifestyle, lifestyle choices uh, with diet or exercise or the lack of it, or smoking or sexual or other issues. We have to ask the question, is the occult influencing us? The, the word occult simply means hidden. It's hidden because God doesn't want us looking into it. Is there a generational curse here? And we need to learn, and we've covered that in a teaching on a different week. Am I being disciplined by God? And please understand, it's never God's will to seek your destruction, uh, but rather to see you come to obedience, and then there becomes blessing of restoration. Am I being tested by God is another question. God's not being mean, but sometimes he does what he needs to to test whether we're going to be obedient to him, to find out what we've learned. That's for our discovery. He already knows. Have I abused the Lord's Supper, communion? It is for believers only. Uh, children, whether they should take it or not, is a parental decision, not a pastoral one. Uh, when I say it's for believers only, if you're not born again, you should not take communion or the Eucharist or the Lord's Supper, whatever term you, you use. It's only for those who are in covenant relationship with Jesus Christ. And I think that's why it says some people get sick because of it. Am I carrying unresolved emotional baggage is another question we should ask. Inappropriate relationships, sometimes abortions or traumas that keep us in bondage till we resolve them. And the prayer ministry that we do is one of the preferred tools that we've found. Uh, let me say this here. I found uh, a case of this uh, uh, very re regularly. Uh, I learned this when I was in Canada one time. Uh, this counsellor said to me that anyone who's, any mother who's had an abortion or a miscarriage, where there's been, if you like, a death in the womb, the next child born out of that womb will be dysfunctional. And I've discovered that myself. I remember the, one of the first times I ever mentioned it when I was teaching on healing. And in the next few hours, I had eight women come for ministry. Two had had abortions, six had had miscarriages. They were between 50 and, uh, sorry, between 30 and 70 years of age. And every one of them, the next child born out of that womb was dysfunctional, couldn't hold down jobs and so on. There were all sorts of reasons. So we need to find the cause of problems uh, and solve those through prayer and ministry as appropriate. Another question is, are there unresolved relationships, um, unforgiveness issues, bitterness, taking offense? I've covered that elsewhere uh, in more detail. Is there a secondary gain to my illness? Sometimes people like to be the center of attention and their illness makes that happen. We could ask the question, am I sick because of humanity's fallen state, the effects of aging, living in a fallen world where sin and suffering abound and there's pollution and so on? Uh, I, I would make the comment that Adam and Eve had a lot to answer for. Another question is, am I sick that God's redeeming grace may be displayed? That's an example in John 9 that Jesus talked about the man who was born blind. So there are hindrances to healing. Let me just quickly go through these. Disobedience to God, a lack of knowledge of God's word, a lack of faith, unbelief, unconfessed sin, unforgiveness, rejection, involvement in the occult, idolatrous oaths such as Freemasonry ones, for example, neglect of the poor, that's anyone who has less than you do, curses, unconfessed or hidden anger, a lack of peace of mind, fear, and lastly, ungodly soul ties or relationship bonds, 
or sicknesses caused by demonic forces. Now, if you look through those questions and deal with them, I'm amazed how many people are just healed as you deal with these issues.